Hi Martin. Uh, last I saw you this project was uh, at the beginning and now it's a house on the wheels. So can you tell me something about it? When we when I saw you last time, we started a plan to build something, you know, for the pickup camper because uh, in the past I had several another motor homes. You offer me something uh, for the electricity because my plan was use normal uh, uh, acid lead batteries and um, you said to me that um, you have some better things for me yes, and yes, I was surprised and uh, that was the start. It's a, it's a lithium phosphate batteries and I would like to know just uh, what is the difference be between uh, light acid battery and lithium phosphate battery. So tell me something. Yo, you know, uh, in the past uh, I have uh, only one, ch one one possibility for me, it was to use the normal batteries. I, I didn't know anything about uh, about uh, some, some new systems and I don't care about it. And uh, it was pretty good for me, it was functional. But uh, for example, after two days in the winter, uh, the normal batteries uh, was uh, completely out. And uh, when I use it only for some, some ventilator or some, some notebook, something like that, and some, of course, the lights inside. But uh, after two days, it was, it was you know, in the end of the capacity. And uh, also the heating and the, and the ventilator, everything stopped. And I have to move myself and use the motor of the camper and to recharge it again. Uh, for example, the lithium phosphate batteries, uh, they are not so heavy like a normal lead acid batteries. And it was uh, important for us because uh, we made it, the old camper is from aluminium and we care a lot of about the weight, the weight of the complete systems. And uh, when you said me that it's only one third of the normal weight of lead acid batteries, so it was a big advantage for me and uh, of course a lot of other things. Okay, and uh, what's the capacity of the battery? It's only 90 ampere hours. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think that that is enough for me because uh, in the past I have 160 and it was not enough yeah. <laughs> but I was so surprised that uh, also with this small battery the, the capacity is it's almost half but uh, it was it, it is enough for everything I have also refrigerated there and uh, I can uh, use it for uh, for the for the recharge again my e-bike which is big battery in the e-bike yes. and I do it almost every day and, and for that moment I, I, don't, I don't care about anything in the camper that's, that's the main thing for me I just use it and don't care about it that's so 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 good also the, the recharge cycles the normal lead acid batteries was about a two or three hundred maybe eight hundred something like that and uh, it was broken after every two years I have to buy the new and uh, now it's about eight thousand or six thousand I read it in the internet I, I didn't know that properly yeah. but but uh, it's oh, so big different. So now we are in. Uh, can can you show me where is the battery? Uh, how does it work? Yeah. Uh, actually, <laughs> this is interesting. This is control panel of uh, of, of everything, and here is the uh, regulator. Uh, this is the control panel of every, everything here. Is it lights here? and uh, the, the lights position around the camper and the water you know and uh, some other things like the small lights there and uh, uh, so this is the brain of the camper <laughs> and uh, you can see here the LFO battery and here's the recharger for, for, for that in case that the solar panels will be not enough and you will stay at home and, and here is a, a 220 volt coordinator and uh, for example, I, I use no, I no, use a normal fridge, which is not for a camper. This is also interesting because it costs only I don't know maybe 70 euro. But the energy consumption is pretty higher than normal, but uh, this is this is still okay for this system, and I don't have to care about it anymore. So I think it's saved, and uh, yeah, really, we have a, yeah, really, we have a, any problem with that? So. You know, I don't, I, I don't care about it. You can see that, that normally I, I sit here or lay in here or have to chill out and I never go inside and it, but this is, this is important for me. I, I don't care about it. I just, you know, put it out and, you know, yes. for the next couple of months, I don't care about it. Okay. And then the solar panel is 200 watts and it's still enough. 
I, I never use uh, this this for recharge the battery from normal uh, you know from my house or some some something like that I never use it because it was not not necessary today we can we can see it I can show it to you today we have a 12.9 volts inside but the you, you can see that I, I use everything here. Now it's a fridge uh, and the light and outside is pretty cloudy and uh, still enough energy. So really, I, I, I love it. It's easy and okay and safe for me. It's safe. So